Here in Minnesota, one of the closest statewide races was the one for Minnesota Attorney General. Congressman Keith Ellison gave up a safe seat in Congress to run for the office. Throughout the campaign, Ellison denied accusations of emotional and physical abuse by a former girlfriend. Republican candidate Doug Wardlow dealt with his own controversies, including a recording where he promised to fire all the Democrats in the AG's office. In the end, Ellison won by four points, 49 percent to 45. Here's Esme Murphy with tonight's Talking Points. Congressman Keith Ellison ran on a platform of promising an activist attorney general's office that would move to block the president's policies on issues like immigration, the travel ban, and protecting provisions of Obamacare. Since President Trump's 2016 election, Democratic attorneys general in other states have taken similar stands, taking the administration to court. Just this past week, Maryland's attorney general filed a motion in federal court arguing that the president's appointment of Matthew Whitaker as acting attorney general to replace the fired Jeff Sessions is, quote, illegal and unconstitutional, and that Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein should fill the position instead. Attorney General-elect Ellison was a guest on WCCO Sunday morning. He is now minimizing the degree to which he will take on the president. I didn't run for attorney general to fight with Trump. I may end up fighting with Trump. But my point is to protect Minnesotans. That has to do with drug pricing. That has to do with the affordability of college. Where there's some for-profit colleges taking advantage of people. We're not going to let that kind of stuff happen. But there are things that might bring me in conflict with the federal government. Ellison is also promising to restore morale to the attorney general's office. Under current attorney general Lori Swanson, there were accusations that staff was required to do political work at taxpayers' expense, accusations Swanson has denied. Ellison will be sworn in as attorney general on January 7th. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. And remember, you can watch WCCO Sunday morning with Esme Murphy and Mike Augustinak every Sunday at 6 a.m. and at 10.30.